Hey, my name is Dai and thank you for joining us for this really quick video. In this video, we'll focus on what are bit components and how to use them. Here we are in the previous workspace that we've created. And for this demo, I actually want to create my second component as well. So we can even show a little bit more items. So as I create my second component, we see here that bit has a very specific structure for components. Bit wants and likes to have each component in its own self-contained directory. As we mentioned in the previous video, bitmap allows us to sort different directories into components. And as you see here, bitmaps root directories. So you can still have nested directory structures and other files for each component, but the target for bit is to point on a specific root directory and set this is a component. The reason is it allows us to have an independent isolated area in our code base that controls and owns a single responsibility. Bit does not care what's inside each component, what's implemented, whether this is a small, large component, does it UI only, does it have backend calls, and none of that. We just need to know this is a directory. By default, each of our templates provides an index file to hold up all the exports for each component. As you see here, also an implementation file. So all multiple files will, you will start building the functionality spec file. And in this case, for the different templates, they actually use just with the library and a composition file that allows us to render components in the bits UI that we'll touch in a later video. When you create a component, you see here that they have a specific location and a package name. This means that every generated components is available inside your local node modules to be used by other components. So you will not use the relative import statements within components, you will use absolute import statement. This allows you to essentially decouple yourself from the physical structure of your component tree and work on you know, the actual dependency that's happening. So I can actually import my second component here. And all right, so with that, I now created a small dependency between two of my components. Bit will not allow you to have dependencies between components that are relative imports. Inside the component, as you see, you can go ahead and build as many relative import calls as you need between the different files. This allows you to have more of uh, flexibility inside it. And, uh, that's it for creating a very first and basic bit component in a bit workspace.